It's Dominique Burns coming to you, bringing you super awesome, fantastic book reviews, everything from fiction to romance and more. You Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. I have like six subscribers now, which was pretty much the highlight of my day. You know what? I only have five family members. So that has to mean that at least one of those people are a stranger. So stranger who is subscribing to me, thank you. Uh, today's a book haul day. I went downtown to a local bookstore because I had a gift card and it was only for like $10. And then, well, as you know, if you love books and bookstores, you will not leave with just one book. And that's pretty much what happened to me. And I, I just, I didn't leave with just one book. I bought a whole pile of books, which I want to book talk today about. Well, kind of book talk, more so just show you my book haul. And then eventually I will get to reviewing all of these. I don't know. If I reviewed every book I had on my, all of my bookcases, I think I would have hundreds of episodes. I did an Excel sheet for how many graphic novels I had the other day. And I think it was like 700. And majority of those graphic novels are manga that I've been collecting since I was a little girl, starting with like Sailor Moon back in the day. So yeah, that would be a lot of book review videos. But hey, my channel would have a ton of videos and content. So maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do all 700 manga someday. We'll, we'll see. That's a far reach. But I will do some of them. Uh, if you have any requests, put it below. I hope you guys are having a good week. Yesterday, I actually went to a kind of like a concert. It was a concert, I guess I should say. It was a friend of ours, Pamela. She just released her CD and it was so cool. Zach, who has done book haul reviews with us, uh, I'll have him back on the channel because I got some more packages and I'll have him come and like open them and tell us what he thinks the books are about because I really thought it was funny, his take on what just based off the covers, like judging the book by the cover, this was what he said it was about. Uh, I almost just dropped all my books, so I was like, Bleh! jumping there, mid-combo. But yeah, so I went and saw Pamela's CD release thing yesterday, and Zach played drums. <laughs> drummer ever. I don't know, but I thought he did really good and the crowd was cheering and it was a really neat experience. Let's talk about this book haul. I keep looking down because I don't know if you can see the pile in my lap, but this is my book haul. Today, let's start with Looking for Alaska by John Green. It's I bought this in paperback from the bookstore. I kind of started this book a long time ago. I was in college and I never finished it and I enjoyed it. I don't even know why I didn't finish it. I thought I should buy it because I really enjoy it and I wanna get all of his books because he is one of my favorite authors. His writing is incredible and I will eventually do a John Green book review. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I just started reading Paper Towns because the movie's coming out soon and I'd like to read that. Next is a new book called Spelled. I also bought this in paperback and I really like the cover. It's so pretty and I almost bought it a few weeks ago and then I kept changing my mind. I was like, no, I'm going to the library and get it. And then some of my favorite book reviewers on Goodreads gave it some pretty decent reviews and it caught my interest and that is why I ended up getting it. I love fairy tales. I am a big, you know, Disney fairy tale, grim fairy tales, all of those kinds. And so I thought Spelled looked like a really interesting. I think it's like a twist on Dorothy, hence the kind of red and silver slippers on there is from my understanding. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, her name's Dorothea. Yeah. So it looks really cool. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Oh yeah. So somewhere over the rainbow, all spell is about to break loose. Look, they're so clever. Next up is also a new book and it is called Bilzar, and this just looked really cool. I ended up getting this, it's autographed and signed, but since I was reading it, uh, I just thought it sounded like a really cool concept. I guess, uh, I don't wanna book review it completely because I haven't read it, but from my understanding, this girl suffers a loss in her life and gets sent to a boarding school for kind of privileged and also uh, talented or people who have maybe emotional issues. So I think she suffers a loss and gets 
sent to this boarding school to kind of help her overcome those emotional issues and the, the sadness of loss, but it looked really, I just like the cover. I totally judged it by the cover and it looked really beautiful and pretty and I liked it a lot and the description caught me. And when I was in the bookstore, I liked that it was a staff pick because it's kind of fun to see what's up and coming or popular locally as well, besides just going online and seeing what's popular. The next book I got was The Death Care. So I've read the other books in the series and I have not read the final book yet. And I know it's a, the movie came out on the first book and I really enjoyed it. Thought they did a great job. Uh, I like the books, you know, it wasn't necessarily one of my like top series, but I did really enjoy it. So I'd have to read the last book obviously. And I thought, why not buy the final book to the trilogy? So it is a trilogy, right? Phew. I thought for a moment there that I was going to be like buying 20 billion books <laughs> for eternity. Just kidding. The Death Gear. So James Dashner, I'll let you know what I think of it. Uh, do you like Maze Runner? I don't know. And then next up is City of Heavenly Fire. I have the first book and I've read it. And I've actually read the first and second book of Cassandra Clare. I did a book review of it was this, wait, this one's Mortal Instruments and the other one was Infernal Devices which is like the greatest series ever and I just love it and it's the prequel and I figured I should start finish reading uh I guess kind of rereading the books I, so I read the first two and then the other ones I more so just like skimmed through but I wasn't as in love with them but now that I've read Infernal Devices and loved it so much and I now have this attachment to the world and the characters I think that's gonna make me love it even more because I'm looking to see the characters that are like immortal or just family lines and Cassandra Clare is an incredible author she builds these worlds that are absolutely fabulous and you just want to visit them immediately which if I could, I would, I would be a shadow hunter. So I went ahead and bought book six. It was on sale, it was hardback, and you know, I'm a sucker for a good deal. And if you are selling a hardback for cheaper than a paperback, ah, uh, done, because I need the series. That's my book haul, guys. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week, weekend, weekday. Who knows when I'm gonna release this? So whatever you're doing, I hope it is fabulous. From me and my uh, co-worker Domo here, we hope you enjoyed this book haul. Make sure to subscribe below and go read some books and just enjoy enjoy the summertime. It is a time of reading and relaxing. Oh, yeah. Bye guys!